welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing part three of my bridesmaid series. This is the makeup for the wedding. I am going to start this video with my base first. If you want to see the products that I use and the process that I go through for my base, then go ahead and check out my rehearsal dinner video. I will link that right here for you to go ahead and check out. This video is not going to be as in-depth as the rehearsal dinner video, so if you do need a little bit more help with the process of how to do this each step, then I would definitely check that out. This makeup is basically the same steps, just using a different palette, so you could also achieve this look just by following the steps by using the colors that I use in this tutorial. Before we get started, if you'd like to subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up, I would really appreciate it. Also, if you'd like to be notified when I upload, you can hit the little bell next to the subscribe button. I do upload every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday, so keep a lookout for any new videos. Without further ado, let's get into the tutorial. Okay guys, so I am starting with my base done. If you are interested in the steps that I took to get this base, you can check out my part two of my Bridesmaid series, the rehearsal dinner. I used the same products and did the same process. So I thought I would save you guys the trouble since this tutorial is focused on the eyes. So let's zoom you in. For this tutorial, I'm using the Dominique Cosmetics Latte Palette, and I'll just give you a little preview of the palette. Mine is very well loved. I really do enjoy this palette. I think the colors are super easy to blend, and especially for a beginner doing their makeup on somebody's wedding day, I really suggest trying out this palette. So I already have a base on my lid. I did use concealer. You can also use the MAC Painterly Paint Pot. I did use this in the rehearsal video. I have also set my lids with a little translucent powder. Because I have done my base first, I'm just gonna take a little bit of translucent powder and I'm gonna put that underneath my eyes just in case there's any fallout. If it's easier for you, you can definitely do your eyes first and then do your base, but as I said, I just kind of wanted to get the base out of the way so that we could focus on the eyes. With my Morphe 504 fluffy brush, I'm gonna be going in with the shade Caramel right here. And we are gonna use this as our transition shade, blending this into the crease. I really suggest trying out and practicing this makeup look before you do it, especially if it's someone else's wedding day. I'm sure if they don't mind if you're doing your own makeup that they don't mind, but you still don't want to look ridiculous on somebody's wedding day. Those pictures are going to last a while and you just want to, you know, respect that. There's nothing wrong with doing your own makeup but you want it to look good. You don't want to like, you know, be that bridesmaid that doesn't get their makeup done and then you look different from the rest of them. So we definitely want to keep it super natural. You don't want to go too dark. You don't want to wear a ton of black. Keep it very light and neutral. Building that color up. Blending very lightly, hand at the back of the brush, and just blending very lightly in windshield wiper motions, and then in circular motions. And again, you wanna make sure this is nice and blended. And then I am also gonna take my little BH Cosmetics small crease brush with that same caramel color, and I'm gonna put that under my lower lash line. And if you take your mirror and you hold it up, and you look up into the mirror, make sure you tap off your excess. That way you can access under there a lot easier. And then you wanna make sure it connects in the outer corner. Then with the Morphe M573, I'm gonna take hazelnut 
this shade right here. And we're gonna blend that into the crease in the outer edge. And then back in with the first brush, just blend that out. Then with a Morphe M433, I'm going to be taking Mocha, and we're going to put that on the outer edge and bring it in. And I'm holding my tapered brush. See how it's kind of tapered? I'm holding my brush like this so that most of the product is going on the lid and then the tip of the brush is in the crease. Also just taking the color a little bit on the tip And that'll help deepen it up. Again, we don't want to go too dark, so be very light-handed with this shade. Alright, and then we're going to take that same hazelnut shade. And blend. And then, just quickly back in with that first brush and a little bit of that color. Then I'm going to be taking a MAC 242, it's like a flat concealer type of brush. You can use whatever type of brush you feel comfortable with a shimmer. And I'm going to be using a mixture of creme brulee and macchiato. And then I am going to spray my brush with a little Fix Plus. And when I do this, I like to put some product on my brush, spray my brush, and then put some more product on my brush. Just a little tip. So then I'm going to just kind of make a little bit of like a half cut crease right here. That's kind of the shape that works best for my eyes. You kind of do what works best for you and your eye shape, but I really like this and I think it ends up looking very bridal. And you just wanna do about halfway. And then I just want to get a little bit more of that creme brulee color on my brush and try to get that right on top. Okay, that is so pretty. Then I am going to take that same M433 and that mocha shade again. And we're gonna blend that outer corner. Make sure it's nice and dark, and then we're gonna take that very softly, like I am barely touching my eye. Very softly blending on the inner corner. Just like that. See the difference that makes? So again, we're gonna blend right where they meet. and then lightly bring it in. Okay, and then you just wanna make sure that they're even. If you need to ask another girl or something like that, definitely do. Just wanna make sure that they're even. And then you always wanna just take the same brushes so this is the hazelnut shade and then the caramel shade perfect so now for the lower lash line you can leave it like this if you aren't super into a dark makeup but I am going to smoke it out just a little bit I am using the Urban Decay 24 7 glide on eye pencil in corrupt And 
I don't want to bring it down too far because I don't want this to get too dark. So I'm keeping it pretty much in the waterline. And then with the Morphe E36 and the Mocha shade, we are going to blend out that eyeliner. And again, looking up into the mirror, tapping off the excess. And I'm keeping this right at the lashes. And then with the E18, I'm taking a little bit of hazelnut just to get that warmth coming through and to blend out that dark a little bit. And then back in with that BH Cosmetics and the caramel color just to make sure that is blended. Like that. Okay, now I'm gonna dust away the bake. For my inner corner and brow bone, I'm gonna be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Amrezy Highlighter, and I did use this on my cheeks as well. And then what I like to do is just blend where you put the highlight. I think it helps mesh it all together and then it's not like, oh my god, highlight. Which nobody minds, of course. But I think now it's like, ooh, blended highlight. If that makes any sense. Okay, and then I'm gonna do some black liner. I'm using the NYX Matte Liquid Liner. I love this stuff. I think it's really easy to use, but definitely use what you are comfortable with. And I'm going to do the tiniest wing that I can muster. And honestly, if you're not good at eyeliner, don't bother. If you can't do a wing, just do a little line. Whatever you are comfortable with, you don't want to try something new on someone's wedding day. There we go. And then you pray to the gods that the other one's the same. Now for a mascara, I'm going to be using the Wander Beauty Unlashed Volume and Curl Mascara. I love this stuff. However, if you're a crier, I do suggest using waterproof mascara. See that little spot right there on the inner corner? You just take whatever is left on that brush that we used, blend that away. And you do want to get the top of your lashes especially if you're wearing falsies. I really do suggest wearing fake lashes. I think it looks really nice in pictures. I think it completes the look. You don't have to wear anything too crazy. Even if you have long lashes, I think it's nice. You can wear something maybe to make them more thick. But I think it is a really nice thing to do. For lashes, I'm using the same ones that I used in my rehearsal dinner video, the Christina Demi Wispy lashes. You wanna get the ones with the DW. And all I did to clean them was just use a little bit of makeup remover on a Q-tip around the band and on the lash and they cleaned right up. Just be very gentle. And then to get the glue off, I usually just hold it very close and then pick the glue off there. These lashes are really nice and I highly suggest them, especially if you're gonna be wearing lashes all day long. They can get pretty annoying and these ones are just really, really, really nice. And I'm using the Duo Brush On Lash Adhesive with Vitamins. This stuff is bomb. Just wanna make sure that it's coated. And then let it dry for 
for 30 seconds or so to a minute, you will start to see the glue turning from this like blue color to kind of more of like a clear color. And that's when you know it's ready to go. And then bring it down. Front. And back. And give it a squeeze. All right, and then we're just gonna take the liner again. We're gonna go over the band. There we go. Okay, now don't touch them anymore. I'm gonna use a little to flick that off. I'm gonna do some bottom lash mascara. Oh God, that's pretty. That's pretty. My biggest tip for lips is to make sure that your pencil is nice and sharp and to use a color very close to your lip line. Don't want to use anything too dark yet again. Try to go for a nice rosy color. I'm using the Kylie Cosmetics lip liner in Candy K. This is the same lip combo that I did in my rehearsal dinner. And don't forget to exfoliate and moisturize your lips. For lip color, I'm using the Jouer Lip Cream in Blush. This is a really nice, light, rosy color. I think it's really nice, especially for a wedding. You don't want to do anything too nude on your lips because in pictures it may look kind of funny. Try to go for a little bit more of a rosier color for a wedding. And then if you don't wear a lot of lip products or you don't like liquid lipsticks, I do suggest wearing a liquid lipstick. This one's really nice. It lasts all day and it's very creamy, but don't use a lot. One coat and you're good and it won't get chunky. And I do suggest just kind of blotting on a tissue and it won't get hard in there. And then I'm just going to go over that in the center with a little bit of Bare, which is also a Jouer lip cream. And I'm just gonna blend it with my finger. Blot. All right, now I'm gonna zoom you out. Okay, so the makeup look is done and I just kinda wanted to do like a quick kind of hair tutorial. I'm not gonna show you when I curl my hair. I'm just gonna show you kinda how I put it up and hopefully That'll give you an idea. I am going to be getting my hair done by a professional when I do this. I'm doing my own makeup, but I'm not very good at hair, so I will be getting it done. Okay, so for the hair tutorial, I am going to take some hair. I wanna do like a half up. How far up do I wanna go? I think I wanna do like by the temple. So what you wanna do is just take bit of hair, maybe like this, and under, under, and you want it to be fairly tight, we're going to loosen it later. And then I'm going to take that and I'm going to pin that in the back. And then I'm going to take a piece on the top and do the same thing. I'm gonna do the back one first, under, under, and you do want to like pull it backwards and make a braid. And again, you want to make it tight, we're gonna loosen it up in a minute. Alright, 
And then we're gonna pin it back. And then I'm just going to kind of pull on the braid a little bit. Kind of loosen it up. I am gonna go curl my hair and put on my little dress just to show you what the final look looks like, all right? Okay guys, so this is the finished look. it turned out so pretty I love it I think it is perfect for bridal I think it looks really good with the dress and I just think it is so pretty my biggest tip with curling your hair or doing your hair is to make the curls a lot tighter than what you want and don't break them up and then by the time you take pictures because usually you get ready pretty early by the time you take pictures it's gonna be a nice like loose kind of curl I did brush mine out a little bit just for purposes of the video I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and I hope that I helped you if you are doing your own makeup on your bride's big day. There is absolutely nothing wrong with doing your own makeup but I do suggest practicing beforehand, doing a little trial on yourself and making sure that you know what you're doing before the day. I also maybe suggest trying it on with the dress, making sure that everything you know kind of looks good and is kind of cohesive. I really love this lip color. I think it is just so bridal and pretty. And this latte palette is definitely great for this type of occasion. Well, I hope you guys have a great day or night wherever you are. Toddy byes. This video is gonna be a little bit quicker than the rehearsal video. This video, this video is going to be a little bit for this eyeshadow tutorial, I am using the Dominique's. Alright, for this tutorial, I'm using the. And then. And then with a Morphe E36. And then with a Morphe E40. And then with a Morphe.